supposed to see the light. I like my outfit. Don't you come in here with your six toe. Oh, you messing up the setup. Let me pull your shirt. Oh Lord, I gotta make sure I, this is my good side. <laughs> Sarah, it's rolling. What's rolling? The video. Can you call him? Oh. I gotta make sure I sit up straight. But my fat rolls is gonna be all over the place. I don't think it's rolling. It's rolling. I can't see. Is it, shouldn't it be the numbers at the top? Oh shit. Is it rolling? See, that's what I said. it's your girl b you already know thank you for joining us again you guys today is going to be another post op video on my brachioplasty and breast lift slash augmentation i am one month post op one month and some days post op and i wanted to come back to y'all just give y'all an update show y'all some uh not really before and afters but show y'all what i'm looking like as far as today give y'all some news on how i feel about my results as well as what transpired between me and my doctor during the one month post-op visit. So before I get into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you all subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the ones who are, have been rocking with me thus far. Please tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. Post this on your social medias if you love me and I'll continue to push out some more videos. Now bear with me you guys, I am still very much so camera shy. I think I'm easing into it a little bit more, but if I get more comfortable, I'll give you all more content. So, without further ado, what do I want to touch base on with first? I got my notes with me. Again, like I said before, I am one month post-op. I went in and had my first plastic surgery ever with a company called Marietta Plastic Surgery here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, my doctor's name is Dr. Keith Hanna with Marietta Plastic Surgery. Very sweet guy. And that was one month ago, no, October 13th, I believe it was. And today is roughly November 22nd. So I'm a little bit over one month post-op. I just had a visit with him a few weeks or a week ago, about a week ago, about two weeks ago. And he released me on full activity. So I can do whatever now. I don't have any pain anywhere. My chest feels normal. It doesn't feel like sandbags anymore. Um, my arms don't hurt. The only thing is I still don't, can't reach well i can reach pretty much above my head but i still have to take it slow because when i do go all the way up it's tightening under my armpits so your girl is good okay i had a great recovery i wouldn't on a scale of one to ten the pain and, and the overall process how bad it was i would say about a four no about a three it really wasn't that bad to me so if you're scared to go under the knife for a breast job or arm lift you're gonna be fine. One thing that I do recommend you guys do is do not take the pain pills. Just stick with the Tylenol and the muscle relaxers and it speeds up your recovery. She's saying little sister, she can take it. Hey, I'm just saying. At this point, my doctor, again, he released me to full activity. I've also started scar treatment therapy as well. So I'm no, I no longer have to take one. I'm just using the lotion that they give me. The lotion that they have for me for my scars is called Biocornium. This lotion, you guys, for this little bitty bottle, and I paid how much money for my surgery, was not included. I had to pay $100 for this little bitty bottle. And I think I'm almost done. And I just got this, what, two weeks ago? But I do put it on day and night. But this is supposed to help me with my scars. A little later, when I take my, my clothes off, child, I'm gonna show y'all my scars. I'm cute, child. You can't tell me nothing. These titties is sitting. Oh, Lord. They small, though. I ain't even gonna run. These tight teeth. Ant bites. All right, so, girl's a little bit more confident this go around, but if I'm gonna be honest, the results of my arm lift did not go as I was expecting. And I said that in my two-week post-op video, but with it being a month now, and all of my sw my swelling is, you know, I still have some swelling left, but not nearly as much as I did. Um, 
I've never seen an arm lift look this, how do you say, incomplete. I've never seen an arm lift, lift on YouTube look this incomplete. I will say this, I've never seen somebody with as big as my arms get an arm lift before. So maybe where my start off was, it was gonna take two rounds instead of one. But they look way better than what they did before. I will give you that. So I'm very happy with my biceps, but the tricep, like all of this meat is still there. And I know he just released me two weeks ago to start strength training. I am gonna start doing dumbbells workouts for my arms like crazy now, but because all of this, I wanted all of this gone. Like this is still gonna make me insecure and make me want to hide my arms. But as y'all can see, these are my scars. They're not, um, the scars on my arm are not that dark yet. Uh, ooh, I'm ashy, hold on. Okay. But again, these are the new girls. My scars are not that bad on the um, in, inner parts of my arm. They're not getting that dark, which I'm very happy for. This side is a little bit dark, but again, I never had an issue with the scars to begin with. I just wanted the skin gone and with the, the loose, the, I just wanted the fat gone. With the fat still being here, that's my biggest issue. So I'm gonna get in the gym, do a, a, a whole bunch of string training, try to get these arms as tight as I can. And then if I'm still not happy with the, can you see the hanging? I see it. If I'm still not happy with the results, my doctor did let me know we can go um, back in on the six month mark, do um, some more liposuction to get this meat from the bottom of my elbow out. And But the only thing is, and the only way it's gonna be covered is I have to do it under local anesthetic, which means I have to be awoke while he's doing it. So I'll definitely take him up on that offer if again, I get in the gym and I just can't tighten this up myself. I don't think I'm gonna be able to really. I feel like um, with as much fat that's still in there and skin that's still in there, another lift is gonna have to be done. What you think, sweetie? Another lift? I feel like it. So even after the lipo, you have to do another scar? Yeah, like they, they I mean, they could cut into the same scar. Ooh. That's what I feel like, because that's a lot. That's still a lot left. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know why. I think he left so much meat on the top part of my arm, well, on the bottom part of my arm, because my forearm was already uh, loose, was already fat right here. So I think he was trying to make it match. But hell, he could have told me he was going to do that. But again, these are the new girls. As of now, you know, I'm... I'm not happy, but I'm not sad with my results anymore. I feel like with all plastic surgery, you have to, it's a process and you have to work on it to get, you know, the best results. Mm. So that's what we're going to do. Now, as far as the, the, the nanas, the girls, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my chest. I like the size. I, at first I was feeling like, dang, I maybe have went a little bit too small for my, um, my frame, but I feel like as long as I, um, like if I gain weight or something, it'll even out. Which I'm not trying to gain too much weight. Shoot. But um, I mean, if they small, they small. But once I get a, uh, my stomach, my tummy tuck taken care of, I think I'll be okay with the size. Mm -hmm. But um, the girls don't hurt at all. Again, they don't feel like it, there's an object in there at all. They just feel my, like my own chest. They're squishy now and they've dropped significantly. So they look very much so natural. When I tell you when I take these off, these look like uh, these look like natural boobs, cause um, child, my, my nipples still a little bit low. Now. <laughs> the nipples is still a little bit low, but they sitting, so I'm okay. Um, the only thing with my chest, the dark marks that uh, the incisions that he made under here, they're they're a little bit dark. So I've been putting my biocorneum on there twice a day, like my arms, as well as the incisions in my armpits. As if y'all can, can they see? I can't see. If y'all can see this, yeah, I hope y'all can see this, but the incisions in my, um, my armpits, those are the, like the darkest. The, um, if, if y'all see a little hair, I apologize. I haven't shaved or anything because I don't know if I'm able to start doing that. And why is the hair so low now? I feel like he moved it. I, I told you I got new armpits. Yeah. Cause the hair is way the hell down here. <laughs> I told you you got to do Child, why you can't take that part out? There's no hair in here. The hair is all the way down here. Okay, so um, yeah, these are the darkest parts of my scars is in my armpit. These are gonna flatten out some more. 
nothing hurts within there all in all my chest i'm good with it's just my arms we have to work on so now that i showed y'all my scars and everything another question that i wanted to, to pose to myself was was it worth it with the results that i have yes i think the surgery was very much so worth it if y'all go back to my um very first video when i introduced that i was having surgery those arms was looking crazy so i'm very i'm happy that i've come this far um i'm still battling with the um whether or not i think that the cost was worth it do i think the cost was worth it no i feel like for the results i got it wasn't worth all that money i think he should have at least took off a good six thousand dollars yeah but he we gonna make make right within six months so i ain't worried about that um my nipple sensation i do not have any nipple sensation still i don't really think them things coming back either but um he said they are so i'm just going to continue to put the scar treatment on and rub them down and see if i i'll let y'all know when those the sensation comes back the size of my boob i do believe i'm a c i haven't really measured myself i do believe i'm i'm, I'm in within the c range um so the next time i go fitting for a bra or whatever i'll let y'all know what actual cup size i am but i do believe I'm what bra? i know right don't need no bra but i'll let y'all know what cup i am and hell that's pretty much all i got for y'all this is gonna be a, a short and sweet video okay that's my one month post-op video i can't wait till i get into the next phase of surgery y'all but i still have to find a doctor so that's what i'm um, in search for now i really want to go down to florida to have my next set of surgeries which is the tummy tuck and the bbl don't know if i'm going to do them together or not i don't think i will because all the forums say you're not supposed to, well it's they recommend against doing that because you're just not going to be comfortable for those six weeks but we'll see what what happened when it happened again i want to thank you all so much for the love and support if you find these videos interesting if you find them informative please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and if you have more questions about my surgery or if you're looking for any information again you can hit me up on instagram at scully girl beans and i'll give you more information if needed so make sure again you like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next one bye and then the whole time i'm playing with this I'm all right there. No, I didn't think you were that. Y'all. <laughs> if you tell if you if you give them your flaws in the beginning, they they can't use it against you. I mean they still don't talk about it though. They can talk about it if they want. Huh? You just pointed out. What do you mean? You just pointed it out. Yeah, but that means you were comfortable enough to Oh. Oh that's just part of the surgery. <laughs> I like it it's just like the first couple of the Oh no! I just lie about it, and then I'd be on the um the the GoFundMe life. I don't know what happened. It's an adverse reaction. Oh,